we're thrilled to be joined in the studio today by Demian Bashir, whose film A Better Life has been getting some rave reviews. Demian, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you very much for having me here. It's great to have you here. Thank you. This film has been getting a lot of buzz. It's a real heart yeah. tugger, and there's something for everyone in this film. There's a lot going on. On the surface, it's about a Mexican undocumented worker that's really trying to get by in L.A., but the bigger struggle he faces is something every parent, no matter where they come yep. from, can relate to, myself included. <laughs> What's the dilemma he's facing? That is exactly right. Um, Carlos Galindo is um, an undocumented gardener that's uh, making his best efforts to overcome any obstacles to give his son a better life. They live together alone and that that's all they have, each other. And um, of course, there's there always the risk of uh, gangs and drugs. And uh, if you have to work so hard, sometimes you won't be able to take care of your kid the way you want it, right? And it's a very tenuous relationship at times between that's you and the right. son. Yeah, I mean, for any parent to have a teenager, is it's already a big deal, you know right. what I mean? And uh, But then, if uh, this uh, Mexican macho be has to be the best mother on earth in order to take care of uh, everything, house, kid, and, uh, and then the work, that's, uh, that makes it uh, really harder. And then if you think about the fact that uh, Carlos Galindo is one of those 11 million undocumented workers that uh, have to uh, face this fear of every day going through life, uh, trying to be invisible right. in order not to bring any attention so you won't have any problems and maybe get deported and then your son will end up being alone. Right. Clearly Carlos is the quiet, silent type, strong and silent, yeah. which is not something you see a lot of in Hollywood um, roles crafted for leading men today. Absolutely. That, m that must have been, I'm wondering, part of the appeal in taking on this project. I couldn't have said it better myself because uh, that's exactly what uh, any actor uh, looks for. We want roles that can uh, expose our capacity in that, that level. We, 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 like to, we love to go from uh, one extreme to another or to work in polls, right? And uh, of course, Fidel Castro, he wants to make sure that everyone listens. Right. And Carlos Galindo, he needs to be quiet in order to survive. And you've been getting some great buzz for your performance. You. And there's been some comparison between you in this film and Javier Bardem in, <laughs> in Beautiful. That's high praise. That's got to feel really good. Yeah, I, uh, I know Javier. He's, he's one of the greatest actors. And, uh, and uh, we worked together on a film before. Uh, I'm sure we will again. And uh, every time you get a role like Carlos Galindo in a film like A Better Life with a director like Chris White, right. it's a, ble a blessing. And uh, I couldn't be happier for that. This is a really different uh, film for Chris Weiss as well, quite different from The Golden exactly. Compass and The Twilight. Thank you. What was it like working with him? Uh, he is very eclectic. And uh, you don't find too many directors that do that. Right. Um, he is uh, very clear, <coughs> he is such a great human being, and that uh, he's so smart. Um, so we became friends, and that's the only way you can actually collaborate. Right. And uh, any director who wants more from his actor needs to do that in order to get it. And uh, it was a great uh, shooting, and uh, we had long hours talking about what we wanted to put on the, uh, on the screen. Right, and, and to interject there, because the film gave such great insight into this, you know, Hispanic sort of tapestry, the cultural experience of, of you know, Latinos living and working in L.A. How did that um, appeal to you? How much input did you have? Were you able to relate? Absolutely. I think, uh, to begin with, I mean, we are all immigrants this country, we right. formed it uh, right. because of that. People forget that sometimes. We, we all forget many yeah. things. And uh, so, and, I, and I'm related to that because all my paisanos know me from my, uh, the films that I've done in Mexico or Spain or Latin America. Right. And uh, so I know them very well. I talk to them all the time, you know. They cook uh, the food we eat. They take care of our babies. Uh, they they, they uh, do our uh, gardeners, uh, gardens and uh, and uh, they take care of, um, you know, many, many things. Yeah. So I was lucky 
to be able to talk to them, to many of the gardeners, the real gardeners that are everywhere in Los Angeles. I, I had the chance to talk to many of them and they were generous enough to share their uh, experiences with me and that helped me uh, tremendously. And talk uh, about some of your own experiences as well and the challenges sort of, you know, <laughs> you're a Mexican in origin, you work in this country. That's right. How challenging has it been for you to be, come to be respected as a leading actor in Hollywood yourself? It's really hard for any actor. Uh, if, if, if you are an American actor, uh, African American actor, or a Mexican American actor, it's always so hard because there's so much talent in this country, everywhere. In Los Angeles, there's uh, uh, an acting uh, school in every corner almost. Right. And uh, when you go to an audition, it's really, really hard. I mean, there are 300 people, you know, for right. one role. And but that's uh, compounded by the fact that, you know, you come from a different culture. It's always that's harder that's to that's sort true. of, you know, be involved yes, in the mainstream. That, that makes it uh, even harder. I came to New York the first time uh, I uh, left my parents' house. I came over here and I uh, I worked at the uh, Rosa Mexicano uh, <laughs> making guacamoles. I, I came all the way here to m to learn how to make a guacamole, <laughs> and I became the king of the guacamoles anyway. Okay. And uh, so it's been a long, long journey, but uh, this is what I love, and I, I have never quit. So you're multi-talented, guacamole and an actor to boot. <laughs> oh yeah. Tell us about some of the things you've got in the pipes. I believe you have a project with Oliver Stone coming up as well. That is true. Uh, I'm that. really, really happy about that because um, this is one of the greatest directors and uh, um, I love so many of his films. And uh, and then I'm going to work again with Vinicius Le Toro, which uh, he did chain um, in the Steven Soderbergh's films. And, uh, and uh, the great John Travolta is going to be in it, and uh, Omar Thurman, and uh, Salma Hayek. I'm going to be Salma Hayek's uh, lawyer. So uh, it, it, it's really, really exciting. We, we begin shooting in July. Awesome. So you have a lot going on. The film yeah. is A Better Life. The film is A Better Life. Go see it. If you like it, spread the word. It's a really, really nice film. You know, uh, I have uh, many American uh, friends. They have been uh, sending mails to me saying it's amazing how uh, my perspective towards this issue changed in two hours yeah. when I saw the film. It's a thought-provoking film. Yep. Go and see it this weekend in select theaters. Demian Bashir, thank, thank you, you so, so much for being much. here today. Thank you for having me.